I won't be afraid. Hey everyone, my name's Matt, and I am so glad that you are here with us today. We are now in our eighth week on our series on the fruit of the Spirit. Now remember, the fruit of the Spirit is a gift God gives us to help us live a life that pleases Him, as well as it helps us show His love to those around us who don't know God. And we've been spending these weeks learning how we can develop the fruit of the Spirit as we grow closer and closer to Jesus. Today we are talking about the eighth fruit of the Spirit, which is gentleness. But before we get into that, I have our question of the day, which is this. Why do you think it's better to show gentleness than to take out our anger on other people? Turn to someone next to you in your home and tell them your answer. Great job, and thanks for sharing. God wants us to be gentle because it's the right thing to do. You see, we, we want to be more and more like Jesus. And Jesus, when he was on the earth, treated people with gentleness, gave them kind answers, and showed them love through his words and his actions. In fact, it's his love that gives us the ability to show gentleness, as well as all the other fruit of the Spirit. And you know what? That reminds us of our song that we've sung a bit here called It's Your Love. That reminds us that it's God's love that gives us the strength to have joy, to have patience, to have peace, and in this case, to have gentleness. So everyone stand up, find some space to move around, and let's sing this together.
Great job worshiping everyone. When we worship, we get to show God how much we love him and we thank him for giving us the fruit of the Spirit. Speaking of the fruit of the Spirit, our memory verse this month is Galatians 5 verse 22. And it lists all the fruit of the Spirit that we've been talking about. And it says this, But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. We've already covered a lot of those fruit of the Spirit and gone more in depth of what they mean and how we should live them out in our lives. But let's take a moment to stand up now and let's sing our song that helps us memorize these fruit of the Spirit. This song's called The Fruit of the Spirit. Let's clap our hands like this. We're going to sing this song that's all about the fruit of the Spirit that God works in us. We're going to start by singing when my neighbor feels sad, tired, or confused. Okay, so let's sing it out together. Here we go. When my neighbor looks sad, tired, or confused, when a friend is mad, or said something rude, God gave us some seeds that can grow into fruit, a life full of love, grace, and truth. I got love, joy, peace. Good job. Let's sing patience. Patience, kindness, goodness. All right, you guys sing faithfulness. Faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. God's love shown to all the world. Good job, you guys. All right, let's clap our hands again. And we're going to sing that all over when my neighbor looks sad, tired, or confused. Okay, here we go. When my neighbor looks sad, tired, or confused. When a friend is mad or said something some seeds that can grow into fruit a life full of love grace and truth i got love joy peace nice job you guys let's sing together patience kindness good all right sing faithfulness faithfulness gentleness and self-control god's love shown to all the world i got love joy peace sing out patience Patience, kindness, good. All right, you guys, sing out really loud. Faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. God's love shown to all the world. All right, you guys, let's clap our hands like this again. We are singing about the fruit of the Spirit. Now, the fruit of the Spirit is what God works in us when we know Him. And you guys, we're going to sing, I got the fruit of the Spirit, because we know and we know Jesus that we have it, okay? So let's sing it out really loud. Here we go. We are now going to check out today's Bible story. Now, today's story is about a guy named Paul and his friend Barnabas. Now, this story is actually a few different stories that can be found all throughout the book of Acts. And it shows us how Barnabas showed some kindness to someone who a lot of other people were treating harshly and being angry at. But Barnabas decided to show God's gentleness. Check it out. Slapstick Theater. Paul and Barnabas. This is Paul, Rah! who once hated the followers of Jesus and would do anything he could to stop them from telling others about the good news of Jesus. But Paul met Jesus in a miraculous way, and his life was changed forever. Wow! He went from hunting down the followers of Jesus 
to being one of them himself. Yeah, all right. When Paul was in Jerusalem, he tried to meet with the believers there. Oh, I got way up. But they were all afraid of him. Oh, man. They did not believe he had truly become a follower of Jesus. Yeah, Paul, come with me. Then a man named Barnabas brought him to the apostles and told them about how Paul had seen the Lord and how the Lord had spoken to Paul. Yeah, it's true. He also told them that Paul had preached boldly in the name of Jesus in Damascus. Hey, okay. So Paul stayed in Jerusalem with the followers of Jesus. He told many people about Jesus and they came to follow Jesus too. Paul and Barnabas went to do special work for God. Yeah. They preached the good news about Jesus in many places until they both went separate ways to tell others about Jesus. What a great story. Barnabas decided to show gentleness to Paul, even when all the rest of the disciples wanted to be angry at him and didn't accept him. Barnabas knew what Jesus would do. And just like Barnabas, when we become a Christian, we get to experience God's gentleness and get to share it with those around us. You see, we have a choice. When we find ourselves disagreeing with someone or getting into an argument, we can either choose to be angry at them and use mean words and yell at them maybe, or even get physical, or we can choose gentleness. We can choose to put our differences aside and decide to treat them the way Jesus would. You see, Jesus treated people with gentleness wherever he went. He was kind and compassionate to those around him. Our words and actions have power. In fact, Proverbs puts it this way. Proverbs 15 verse 1 says, A gentle answer turns anger away, but mean words stir up anger. We should use our actions and our words to stir up gentleness and compassion towards other people instead of being angry and mad and mean to people. And when this is hard, because, you know, sometimes when someone's mean to me, I find I just want to be mean back to them. That's when we can trust Jesus for his help and the Holy Spirit. So you see, the Holy Spirit will give us the ability, ability to show the Holy the fruit of the Spirit, even when it's hard. We just need the trust in Jesus. I think you guys can do that. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for always showing gentleness to us. Thank you for showing your love through the greatest act of gentleness, of taking your Son and giving him the punishment we deserved. God, I pray that me and every one of my friends here who are watching would be willing to take a moment and pause whenever they feel angry at someone or disagree and ask you for help to show gentleness. We thank you for what you will do in us. We pray this in Jesus' name. And we all say together, Amen. Great job, everyone. You see, I want to challenge you this week. This week, if there's ever a moment where you maybe are feeling angry or wanting to get into an argument with someone and wanting to get pretty harsh using mean words, pause, take a deep breath, and ask Jesus for help. And instead, by replying with mean words, use gentle words. Well, I hope to see you guys next week, and I'll be praying for you all, and have a great time. And we hope to see you next year, here next week as we go into our final week on the fruit of the Spirit. See you guys. No, I won't be.